<clears throat> okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, my head is shaved here uh, with a little design on the side. And I left this hair on top. Um, mostly because I just like left it up to you know the stylist like stylist discretion I said this is what I want to do kind of do whatever else you want and um, I've sent a few pictures to some friends and family and yeah I don't I don't know why necessarily this hair was left up here, but I think that it's so that I could have this moment with with you guys live. Um, I'm gonna shave the rest of my hair off. I'm gonna have my own little like Britney Spears moment, or someone said Amber Rose. I don't even know who that is. So um, yeah. So far, um, thank you, Jillian. Um, so far, this has been like a really freeing experience. Um, I had someone message me, Brandon, and he said, you know, remember your hair doesn't define you. And it doesn't. And I think that especially being a woman, that we um, identify a lot with our hair. And, and by I think, I mean I know for certain because this is what I do for a living. <laughs> so yeah, we identify a lot with our hair, you know, like it's gonna be so weird to not have any hair, oh my God. <laughs> um, but I'm prepared to do it and I hope that I inspire you guys to make changes, whatever they may be. You don't have to shave your head, but it would be cool if you did, so, okay, <laughs> fuck, 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 this is so fucking scary, oh my god, this is like real, like this is like really happening, so if I cry or something, I don't know what's gonna happen, I don't know. I'm shaking, like I'm shaking so hard right now. It's gone. <laughs> Holy shit, you guys. This is insane. Oh, I missed a spot. Missed a spot. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to get like some really, well I already have some really crazy earrings, but yeah. Mm-hmm. 
My nose is running. I almost cried. I don't even know why. I don't even know why I almost cried. Just, you know, I guess identifying with my hair is why. Yeah, this is crazy. I want to see if people have been commenting. If you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know. Thank you, Rachel. You're so sweet, always so supportive. Let me take this off the tripod so I can. It's okay to cry. <laughs> yeah, my hair grows super fast too, so. <laughs> Steven, no big deal, I do this twice a week. Yeah, I don't know what the maintenance is gonna be like because it's a release. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, Kat. So, yeah, that's what I talked about a little bit on my first video about how when you get a haircut, in general, it's your purging. So, and you can tell a lot about a person through their hair. Like, their whole life story is in their fucking hair. Every, like, drug you've done or whatever, it's in there. So, yeah, I just... I'm not necessarily attached to my hair, but just, I guess, letting go of all the energy and all the experiences and all of the things I've been through with that hair, it's gone now. So um, just the release of that is kind of pulling a little bit um, on my heartstrings. So I'm so nervous. <sighs> to rock this but um yeah we'll see what happens and I definitely will get on here and share with you guys um, my experience with it so yep this is fucking weird that's beautiful thank you thank you so much yeah and I also feel like um, this is something every hairstylist has like thought about doing. Like I know Kara earlier was like, I've always wanted to do that. So, yep, it's a real thing. Wow. I don't even look like myself. <laughs> I don't even look like myself. This is so crazy. Oh my God. Well, here it is, everybody. Thank you for being here with me and being a part of this experience. This has been intense. I know that there was a lot of cussing that happened, so yeah, fucking fuck. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm. I love you guys. I'm going to sign off and make sure I didn't miss any other spots. And, um,. Yeah, I'll be back on here, and I'll try to take some photos and stuff too for you guys. So, as always, I love you so much.